on the screen? Yes, it's a screen capture, and also here's our voices, so this will all be recorded. Excellent. So to do it, you have to grab your data first, right? So let's grab like a data set, like this negative 11 C1 and negative 11 C2, right? So those are both .dat files, so we can input those. You go to data, go to import, ASCII. Mm -hmm. You have to tell it where those are at, so let's tell it it's in our download file. Um, download, and there they are. So doing that didn't actually select it, so you actually have to now input it. But you have to tell what type it is. So this should just be an XY file. Right. But if you had like X, uh, error bar X, Y, error bar Y, you'd have to change what type it is here. And there's lots of different ones to pick from. Ours is simple, it's just an XY. Right. So take this, move it over, and you see if it actually does it correctly, and you hit OK. OK, so I grabbed it, and that looks more or less OK, except I'm a little bit worried about that. I think that we didn't grab it at the right time. OK. So we probably need to fix that before we try and fit the data to right. it. Let's grab this one and let's input it, and it's the same. So both of those we've got to we've got to grab it at the right spot. So and just get it just at the at the minimum. I think what we want to do is find the point at which it monotonically increases, and the point, the very last point before it starts to monotonically increase, that's our zero. Okay. Right. So we should probably go back and and edit that. Sure. So I can go in and do that, but just show me. I mean, how it okay. would fit. Okay. Regardless, this yeah. is how you'd fit it, though. So now you've got the data in there. You can close this. So great, we've got two data sets. So here, then, you go to data transformations, nonlinear curve fitting. Okay. So nonlinear curve fitting. From here, we need to create. Um, so here's where the data is going to come from: the source and destination, right? Source, destination. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually apply our curve to like some data set, either this one or that one, and we're going to send it somewhere. But right now, the only data sets it has are the same ones that we're starting with. So we need to create two new data sets, right? Right. So let's. I think we can just clone these. Um, okay, we'll just duplicate those. Uh, Let's try to do this. Let's try it. Anyways, we're going to take from this data set and we're going to send it to that one. Okay. Okay. So, what's our equation? Well, it's going to be 1 minus exponential of negative. You have to use variable names that are a0, a1, a2, a3. You can't call it k and n. Okay. So, we will want to fix n and just solve for k. So, we're going to call this negative a underscore 0. I think that's what this should be called. Um, I'll double check that. We might need to Google that. I think that's what it's supposed to be called times x, x is not t, it's time, right? It, but that's what we have it plug yeah. on, on our x, right? X. Mm -hmm. And then raised to the, whatever our, our exponent was. So you have that here. Um, this is c1, so that's for charging. So the n value, the, uh, um, values. so you want to use for charging averages 1.272, right? So let's do raised to the 1.272, like that. Um, does that give us a positive curve? It does, doesn't it? I think this is right. So then we have to tell it how many parameters. K1, A0, we might need to write it like that. I don't know Not underscore. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't remember. Let's try it. And then you have to tell it a rough starting point and how many iterations. Like a least squares regression tries a bunch of times to get the right best fit. But let's just leave it as is. But we should give it a, a, a decent starting point. Do you have the data of like what our starting point values were? If you go, so what are we, we're at 11, right? Mm -hmm. Of what k should be to start with. Oh, uh, what k should be to start yeah. with. That's if you don't give another it, file. If but. you don't give it a good starting point, it struggles. Let's pull that up from our other one. So we go to drive, group, research, and then go to Chrome. Okay. If you give it a starting point, it does much better. And it, so this it is just a, a k, list. like the estimated one that we. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Itself. It's not going to be very different, right? So for charging. At negative 11, it was somewhere around like 1, either negative 2, roughly, I think you can actually see it. 1.3, either negative 3, so let's just do 1, either negative 3, that should find it. Um, okay, so 1, either negative 3. And let's try this, and I don't know if it'll work or not. I think it didn't like our variable name. Didn't like A. I think we have to call that A0, let's try that. Let's try this. Okay, it did it. The correlation coefficient is 0.998. It means it's a good fit. Pretty good. Yeah. Right? 
Even with that um, little, even with that little bump at the bottom, right? Oh yeah, it's still fitting most of the data correctly. It's just messy. <clears throat> so you well, don't really care if this goes on for a long time, flat up well, top. You don't care about that. I don't know. I, I don't know the best way to think about that. This should fit that regardless, right? right? That curve does mm -hmm. that. But my my issue is that each data set has a different amount of data that's flatlined, right? Right. And so it's going to place different emphasis on that. Like some data sets, it's going to take let's say like a thousand data points up there, and it'll it's going to use all those for the regression, and it'll use less on the actual curve. So right. I don't I don't know the best way to do that. So let's just take our data as it is and, and do okay, it. Okay, do it. But what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll just start it at the minimum. Yep. Or if it on the just, on the other curves, if it goes down as soon as it reaches that minimum, if it starts to go back up, it, same. Stop it. it. Okay. Stop it. Yeah. So I can go through and do that, and then or even yeah. So, and then I mean I think this is good for the video as far as fitting the curves. That's okay. fine.